Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today as we open up some more 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball. I've got a blaster box here that I got either from Walmart or Target, I don't remember. Um, but this is blaster box number 17 of Topps Chrome. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here and I just wanted to let you know I like to rip my product up slowly for two main reasons. Because one, this hobby is expensive and secondly because... It's hard to find retail product at retail prices right now. Um, with baseball, you might be able to find some. But, I mean, if if you want to find Topps Chrome, maybe Bowman Chrome if you're lucky, um, you got to pretty much, I don't know, be hit the day of a restock. You know, I think if you hit a day or two after the restock, you're not going to find any Topps Chrome or... Bowman Chrome. For sure, you're not going to find any football or basketball. Um, and so, I mean, that's just the state of the hobby right now. It's tough. It is tough to find that product that everybody wants. So, I'm just adjusting some things around here. And so, with 2021 Topps Chrome, the great thing about it is that it is the best place to get rookie autographs. Um, yeah, this year is loaded with a lot of autographs and a lot of picture autographs. But it is still the premier place to get that Chrome Rookie autograph, right? Um, with Topps Chrome, uh, with a blaster box, you're going to spend about 30 bucks, And you're also going to get two pink and two sepia and two refractors you're also going to get a prism refractor and all of that information is on the box here two sepia and two pinks and then it's also all in here as well if you want to look at the pack outs feel free to pause the video and read through that but again yeah you should get two pinks two sepias two prisms sorry um two pinks two sepias two refractors and a prism refractor, as well as some inserts. It's a eight by four product, so we're opening up 32 cards total from eight packs here. So we'll slide these over here, and we'll get ripping. Yeah, so I'm excited because tomorrow I'm gonna open up some Bowman Chrome. Um, I was only able to secure about six boxes of Bowman Chrome um, retail. I'm not talking hobby here. I don't. I don't. I don't got that kind of money. Um, I got some um, retail stuff, right? And it's not her prism. No, it's not. okay. So we've got a uh, Nick Castellanos here, who's um. So Buxton just signed a seven-year, one hundred million dollar contract, and it's like incentive laden, um, uh, with some great stuff in there. I think Castellanos wants a big contract like that as well. He's looking for like seven years, but I think he wants way more money. Um, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna get it. But we'll see. There's got to be a team out there that's willing to overpay for stuff like players like him. I mean, he is a good player. Um, but he wants seven years. I think he's already 30. So that's kind of cutting it tight. Um, but, I mean, the Mets, the Mets are always willing to pay money. Uh, they just signed Starling Marte. So they may not be looking for Castellanos. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, here's Castellanos. Ooh, we got a U Darvish for the Cubs PC. Followed by you know, Spencer Howard. I like Spencer Howard. I'll sleeve him up. And it's also a refractor here. And behind him, we've got um, Ryan Mountcastle. Very nice. A pink Mountcastle. That is solid. Very nice. Very good first pack there. Oh my gosh, I'm like so worried I'm not going to destroy like damage an edge or a corner. Oh gosh, I hate, sometimes I hate penny sleeving cards. But it's a necessary evil to protect your investment. So you got to do what you got to do. All right here, we've got, oh wait. Hey, oh my gosh. I got a redemption. I've never 
pulled a redemption card. So this is blaster box number 17. And I think I've pulled out, man, Topps Chrome has been, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I don't even know what it is. Uh, my kids are like, what's, what's that noise? What, why is dad being so loud? Uh, yeah, we got a Vlad for the PC here. We got a prism refractor of Matt Olson, and behind them all, we've got, oh, holy cow, this box has been so good. This box is so good. We got Mr. Joseph Adele. Um, yeah, this is my 17th box of Topps Chrome. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I've, if, if, you should check out my Topps Chrome, my 2021 Topps Chrome playlist because I've pulled out. I've pulled a super refractor, and it's funny because I'll, I'll put it. I'll, I'll I'll put a link in the. I'll put it in, in this in this eye. It's gonna pop up here. It, it's a link to my video where I opened up my super refractor, and it's funny because I'm so new to this hobby. I didn't even know what it was. I, I opened it. I'm like, oh, what is this? Is this a gold card? Because it's gold. Super refractors are gold, colored gold, and I'm like, oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it must be a gold card. All right, cool. It's out of 50. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. It's got like this weird vinyl discs, circly like, uh, pattern to the background. That's really interesting. I don't know what that is. And then I saw that it was actually, it's, it was actually a Sixto Sanchez. And then I'm like, I flipped the card over like this. And I'm like, and it said 101 up here. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Is this what is this? And I started looking at the box and start reading through the box. I'm like, what is this? Is this what is this a super fractor? It's a great video. It's like my all-time favorite video. Um, feel free to check it out. Like I said, I'll, I'll um I'll throw it up here again in the eye here. Um, but uh, yeah, I yeah. Let, let me get through this pack and then I'll I'll make my point here. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, Sixto Sanchez here. We we um we'll sleeve him up. But yeah, I'm just saying Topps Chrome Blasters have been so good to me. That's why whenever I go to Walmart or Target and I see Topps Chrome, I pick it up. I pick it up. And that's why I have so many of them. Uh, Walker Bueller, man, he uh, did really good this year. I'm happy for him. Oh, we got a negative of Jesus Sanchez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, dude, that's awesome. Hey, you never know. I mean, with the Marlins, uh, gosh, you never know. They they might they might win it they might they're gonna be awesome next year and then we've got a, a sepia of Whit Merrifield oh my gosh dude this box has been amazing yeah and I've got a theory about um I've got a theory too about why you should buy product. Even though it's been out for like a while. Uh, my theory is that Tops first, they say, oh yeah, we're gonna guarantee these odds, right? Or we're, we're gonna we're gonna forecast and say this is how many this is how much we're gonna sell this year. Right. And then based upon that, they figure out they reverse engineer, they figure out their odds, like this, how many golds we gotta print, how many oranges. Um how many reds, whatever, and they're like, oh, man, we need to add another color. So they'll add another color, a green, a light blue, whatever, right? They'll add another color to make sure that they're able to um, legally um, and statistically make sure that they have enough cards for their print run, right? So they forecast it, right? And and they always, always, they always over-forecast. It's better to over-forecast than to under-forecast, Right? Because when you under forecast, you lose money, right? But if you over forecast, hey, you've got extra numbered cards, and you've got extra redemption cards, and then guess what? I feel like they take those and then they throw them in more frequently than normal um, into like the last few runs, the last few print runs. That's just my theory. I could be completely wrong. Um, but that's just my theory, right? They overestimate, and then after they overestimate, they realize, oh man, we gotta get rid of these cards. So then they load up the last few runs of the cards, uh, the last uh, few 
print runs of uh, these cards and they, they overload the boxes. That's just my theory there. That's, that's what I'm thinking here because this box I just picked up a couple of days ago from a Target. So these boxes are newer, they're fresher, they're straight from from the presses. Ryan Weathers, very nice. I'll sleeve him up. Followed by Kevin Kiermeyer, man. Kiermeyer, I like Kiermeyer. He's kind of cocky. Um but I mean defensively he's what the best, I would say the best outfielder in the game right now even better than Buxton and then he had a hilarious incident th this past year right where um he stole the catcher's like um like information on how to like pitch to the Tampa Bay Rays and then they're like hey give it back and he's like give what back and like it, it's hilarious because he obviously took it I mean just just google uh John Boy Media and uh Kevin Kiermeyer and you'll you'll find that video it's an awesome video I love it I love the way how he breaks down things. And then right here, we've got Mr. Uh, Dansby Swanson, followed by uh, Jesus Lazardo, Future Stars. I'll slave up Jesus Laz Lazardo. I have a feeling that he might get traded for more offense because he's currently on the Marlins, and the Marlins are deep uh, with pitchers. But we'll see what they do. Um. Yeah, so let's quickly rip through these because this video is going to be over 20 minutes long. I just know it is. But you know what? I mean, like I, like I said in my disclaimer in the beginning here, this is how I like to open up. Well, almost revealed it. Almost revealed it. That's how I like to... Um, sorry, I almost revealed my, um, my redemption there. Um, but that's how I like to open up cards. I like to take my time. I like to enjoy this process. Right? Raphael Devers, very nice. Brandon Woodruff, so good this past year. Ooh, and we got a, a refractor of you, Darvish, and we got a pink of Mr. Jacob the Grum. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to make sure it was Jacob the Grum, so I read it slowly. Jacob the Grum. But yeah, cool. I'll just leave up those two guys. I love you, Darvish. Um, he's a great Twitter follow, uh, he's a good pitcher. I mean, he's kind of like, you know, 50-50. One year, he'll be like Cy Young contender. And then the next year, he'll be like just average. Like, let's look at his stats. Let's look at his stats here. So, you know, yeah, like some years, three war, four, uh, you know, two and a half war. That's solid. And then six, point six, zero. Yeah, but hey, I mean, pitching is a premium. Pitching is hard to do, especially without sticky stuff. Not saying he used sticky stuff, but all right. So all right, we got uh John Means, followed by Mr. Uh, Nolan Arenado in the Rockies uniform, and we got a baseball insert here of Jorge Posada. Very nice. Ooh, we got Ryan Mountcastle, eighty-six redo. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm going to sleep up both of these cards. Um, just because Posada's a, a Yankee, so I'm going to sleeve him up. And it's freaking Ryan Mountcastle. You got to sleeve him up. We got Pink Mountcastle in this video. We got uh, 86 Redo Mountcastle in this video. We got a uh, Jesus Lazaro. Liz Jesus Sanchez, sorry. We did get a Jesus Lazardo, Future Stars card. We also got a Jesus Sanchez, negative refractor. Um, man, the Marlins just have so many decent rookies. Lazar uh, Sanchez, Jesus Sanchez, Luan Diaz, um, Jazz Chisholm, who is awesome. Max Meyer, who is, who is awesome this year. Um, they, they are loaded. Carlos Correa. Ruhi Odor, Chris Bryant for the Cubs PC, and we got a sepia here of Alex Bregman. Ah, man, I hate getting Alex Bregman cards. But he's good. Especially with that buzzer. With that 9.1 war, 7.3 war with that buzzer. Man, sometimes when you're good and you cheat, you're just amazing. When you, right? 
All right, so last pack, and then we'll see what the redemption is. I don't even know what the redemptions are. Hopefully, it's not a pitcher, because, I mean, this um, Topps Chrome is notorious for being loaded with pitcher autos. Um, I think my other auto that I pulled was a pitcher as well. So we'll see. Uh, Lourdes Guriel Jr., Masahiro Tanaka, Paul DeJong, and our pink is of hey, Javier Baez. I'll take that. Take that for the Cubs PC. Where will, where will Javier end up? No one really knows. No one knows. Uh, yeah, so before I reveal this card, um, I've never had a redemption before. I see people pull redemptions all the time, and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I'd like to pull redemption one day. Um, and so here it is. My very first redemption card. Um, my very first time. You guys should all feel very lucky to, uh, to get to witness this. And, um, yeah, I don't know who um, are the um, redemptions for 21, 21 tops of 2021 tops Chrome. Might be a pitcher. Yeah, you never know. All right, so let's let's go through this here. So I've opened up about 17 blasters. I've gotten a super refractor. I've gotten two negatives. I've got a bunch of colored cards, colored parallels. Um, I think I've gotten one auto. I don't remember who that auto is. I think it was like some guy from the Arizona Diamondbacks. And here it is. My very first, very, very first redemption card. Let's see who it is. Tops online redemption card. I don't even know how to redeem these. I don't even know how to do this stuff. Congratulations. You are due to receive a rookie autograph. Okay, that's good. All right. Of Keegan Akin. Keegan Akin. Who is Keegan Akin? I don't even know who Keegan Akin is. Keegan Akin, is he a pitcher? I think he's a pitcher. I've never heard of him. <laughs> well, anyways, that's still really cool. Um, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so you got to go to the website. You got to scratch the redemption code on the back here. And I heard you got to scratch it lightly. Don't scratch hard when you get these redemption cards because you could scratch the code and you're going to be like, what is that code? What did I scratch out? So, yeah, cool. You know what? I'm going to sleeve this up. All right, and I'm actually going to probably put it into um, a one-touch, too, because I've, I've never opened up a redemption. This is really cool. And so, yeah, this is why you buy Topps Chrome, right, for these rookie autos. You never know. Keegan Akin, if he's a pitcher, he might become the next Jacob DeGrom. Just like how I read it earlier. So, all right, let me do a recap here. Um, oh, gosh. So many good cards. Let's see. Let's see what my, what's in my PC pile here. A bunch of Spencer Howard. This U Darvish Refractor. We got six, though. Um, that's a U Darvish. Now, for veterans, we've got uh, Prism Refractor, Matt Olson, um, Sepia, Alex Bregman, Baseball Posada, Jacob DeGrum, um, Pink Refractor, and another Sepia of Whit Merrifield. And for our rookie cards, we've got Ryan Mountcastle, Pink there, another 86 redo of Mountcastle and of Adele. And we got a negative refractor of Jesus Sanchez. Very cool. And I guess the best card is this one right here. Auto is always really good of Keegan Akin. Um, I think he's a pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. So very, very cool. Very cool. So um, this box, uh, I give it an A minus, this box here. It, got, it was loaded, a bunch of good cards, a bunch of good rookies. I even got a, a negative of a rookie. And I got a redemption card for a rookie auto here and so this box it gets an a minus right um so hey 
That was fun. That was a lot of fun. So all of you guys out there and girls, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and your attention. It means a lot to me because I know those things are really important to you. And if you could, man, give this video a like. Um, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. I upload currently about five videos a week and one to three shorts a week. And so that's a lot of content, you know, a lot of entertainment here. Um, and if you're like me, sometimes you hop on YouTube and you're like, oh, man, like no one uploaded a video today. Or like, oh, man, I watched all my videos during my lunch break. Uh, I don't have anything else to watch. And so feel free to subscribe to me and click that notification bell so that you get more content. So you're not like me and not like wondering um, what, it, what, you, what you're going to watch on YouTube. Right. And so um, I love this hobby and I want you to remember that this hobby is an absolutely amazing hobby. And I hope you're enjoying it the way you want to enjoy it because I'm enjoying it the way I want to enjoy it. And hope you guys are able to secure some great product at great prices and pull some amazing cards like Keegan and Ken Redemption, a negative of a rookie, a bunch of good rookies. So all of you, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.